guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Haven, and I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, and if you are a regular, then welcome back, and I appreciate you being here. Um, so if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I'm going to be doing a um, makeup challenge every weekend in the month of March. So this is officially my first weekend that I'll be doing one, um, and I decided to do a full face using my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. I think a few things are going to be pr probably simple, like, you know, primer and blush and stuff like that. But as far as like liner and lips goes, we're going to have to see how that goes. <laughs> Seriously, because I've never tried that before. So we're just going to play everything by ear and see how it goes. So I'm going to throw my hair up. Okay, so I have to keep reminding myself this hand, this hand, this hand, this hand. <laughs> it's all I can use. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the L'Oreal Magic Decrease. And smooth that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop in with a primer I've been using lately. It's by number 7. It's called Airbrush Away. Um, it's just a sample, but I like it a lot. So I'll probably pick up the full size. And we're putting that on the face with the left hand. Okay, so that was pretty simple. No big deal. Um, so for the eyes, I'm going to hop in with my Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. You can tell I use this baby a lot. Obviously, this is my favorite color, Bomb Diggity. That's my go-to transition color, so that's what I'll be using today. Um, so, using my left hand, I'm going to hop in with Bomb Diggity, and we're just going to swipe that on the crease. I feel like I'm like moving my head instead of my hand, if that makes sense. It's kind of funny. It's like my body's like, girl, we don't know what you're up to right now. <laughs> I also usually hop in with Cray Cray, which is this shade right here, um, and I usually like to intensify the crease, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Gosh, it feels so unnatural. I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I don't have any control. It's kind of weird. Okay, so next I'm going to hop in with a um, kind of like a matte plum color. It's called Kooky, and that's that. And I'm going to go in with like a tighter dome brush. And I like to keep that one kind of close to the outer corner. Just kind of pack it in there. Okay, now I'm taking that first brush and I'm just going to kind of blend everything together. See, this stuff's not hard. We're, we're talking about the, uh, the minute details that are going to be tough. Um, so that's it for the crease. <laughs> doesn't even look that blended. Let me just go back in. Whatever. <clears throat> okay, so something I've been obsessed with is this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. It's called Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. looks like this, and it's actually a blush palette, like I mentioned, um, but I've been using the colors for my eyelid. So just to get a glimpse of this gorgeousness. God, it's like freaking stunning. Wow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hop in with this golden color right here. And I like to use my pinky, so of course I'll be using my left pinky. And I'm just going to go ahead and dot that on my inner eyelid. And look at that intensity, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Me likey. Aha! I'm like getting it everywhere. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Like, there's no joke with that you know this palette it's like serious so normally what I do is just take that first brush with the transition shade on it I don't put any additional and I just kind of marry everything especially where they meet I just make sure there's no harsh lines and at this point I'm kind of stalling because I'm really not looking forward to eyeliner so what we're gonna do is I always always put Marc Jacobs highlighter in pink of me on my lower waterline so we're gonna go ahead and attempt that it's gonna be kind of awkward but we're gonna do it Wow, the creaminess. It's not lying. Um, okay, this is going to suck. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line. If you have ever watched a video of mine, you know that I always go in with a pencil liner, then I always trace over it with a liquid liner just to lock it in place for the day. This I'm not looking forward to, guys. Okay, so I'm hopping in with the Revlon Color Stay in black, and we are going to attempt to use our left hand. So wish a girl some luck. This is 
beyond awkward. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm not kidding. Um, ah, <laughs> oh my God. You guys, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh my god, this is so effing hard. I would have never pictured. I, I'm like literally drawing on my eyelashes. That's how much I can't get any preciseness out of my left hand. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give this one a rest because it just looks like shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so freaking awkward. What do I do? Okay. Uh, oh my god, this is weird, guys. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I'm like drooling. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate so hard that I'm literally drooling. Okay, um, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, this is tough. Okay, liquid liner. It's gonna be an effing nightmare. <sighs> like, that was so hard. Wow. Okay, I usually go about a quarter of the way in on the bottom. Nope, I need to put this down. I'm like feeling all discombobulated. <laughs> it's really thick and uneven. Can you see that? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to hop in with the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner in black. This is going to be tough, guys. <laughs> Don't even know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work for today. Oh, God. No, you guys, this is over. Everything's over. <laughs> What's with the stubby wing? Like, what are you doing, Lefty? Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm, I'm putting down the eyeliner. This is not turning out too pretty. So also, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I always do concealer before foundation. Um, don't know why. I'm a weirdo. I've been doing that since day one. So I'm going to hop in with the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the color Gypsum. And we're going to swipe that under the eyes and on a couple imperfections. This is not. This, is feel, this one feels natural because I always use my left hand to, you know, blend in my left eye. The eyeliner is killing me. I mean, is that, like, really, really? Okay. Okay, so if you watched my video yesterday, you know that I used the Maybelline Superstay. The color I had picked up was, like, stupidly light, so I'm just setting that aside and probably won't use it until <laughs> it's, till it's my funeral day or something. Um, so, anyway, they were having a buy one, get one half off sale with that Maybelline foundation, so I did pick up a color I felt would actually match my skin tone. Um, this is the color Natural Ivory. So, we're going to go ahead and use that today. I'm going to use this Ulta stippling brush and we're going to go ahead and pump it onto the brush. I've not tried this color yet, so we're kind of finding out together. Okay, so now we're going to take my left hand and just blend, blend, blend. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Ah, this is so hard. I, I'm curious how this will uh, work out. This is so hard. Ew, this is even light. Damn. Okay, Maybelline, we see you. You're supporting all the pale girls out there. I just so badly want to just put, take my right hand and just get this done. Like, it seems like it's taking a lot longer because I can't, I can't control it. It's so funny. It's like I've been helping myself out. Like, I'll put the brush there and I'll go like this. <laughs> it's like, no, you need to use that limb. Use that non-dominant hand. That limb. <laughs> wow, this is light as hell. Okay, whatever. Damn. <sighs> Feels uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to... My left hand's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> All right, so I'm hopping in with the Dermablend setting powder. This stuff is freaking heaven sent. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but if you haven't, you should. It's like 14 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in the cap. 
I usually do like an angled beauty blender to get it under my eyes and then I'll use a brush for the rest of my face. God, this is so awkward. Okay. So that was Dermaglen. They say for best results to leave it on for one to three minutes. So I usually try to like do my brow as well. I'm waiting for this to set in. Um, so I'm guessing that's what we'll just do. I'm nervous about this. It's not going to be easy. Okay, so I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow. The shade is four. Um, and this is going to be painful. I can already, I'm already able to tell you right now this will be painful. That's why I'm stalling right now. <laughs> Okay, let's just do this shit. God. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Look at my, I like went off the path. Oh my God. No, you guys. <sighs> Look at that. I look so shitty. <sighs> I need to calm down. This tail is getting a little bold. Oh, I can already tell you I'm going to wash my face before I go out today. I'm not going to do this. I look like an idiot. I'm sorry. There's just no arch there. Like, I don't like... This side's going to be really tough. Mmm. Shit. No. Oh my god. Are you seeing the awful shape? This is tough, guys. OMG. Okay. Bummer. I was hoping I'd be, like, really good at this and I could just leave directly after this, but I'm going to have to do a lot of repair work. <laughs> okay. So, um, now it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just kind of dust off the setting powder. And I'm hopping back in with my Laura Lee palette. I'm going in with black. I'm going in with Oddball right here. I'm going with a flat brush, and we're going to smudge out the lower lash line really fast. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> like, if you could only f understand how awkward this feels. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely time to set the brows. So I'm using my little uh, sample here. It's a Benefit Give Me Brow. Um, this is the shade 3. And this is another sample I've been obsessed with that I will be picking up the full size. Man, my brows are looking ratchet as hell, you guys. This is actually kind of a flashback. <laughs> okay, guys, so up next I'm going to hop in with some Lorac bronzer in the color of Sundays. You see that? And I love this. I use this every single day. So I'm going to take my left hand and dip into that all awkwardly. <laughs> And put some bronzer on the cheekbone. Or in the cheek chisel, I should say. And we're gonna do the hairline and of course the jawline. Next, I'm gonna hop in with my favorite blush of all time. It is the Tarte Blush Bliss Palette. And I always use the same color every day, and that is Breathtaking, which is this shade right here. So we're gonna take our brush and hop into breath breathtaking. I look like a raccoon times 20, don't I? Ugh, I did not smudge that lower lash line out enough. I'm going to put a little more blush. I didn't feel like that was flushed enough. Okay, so I'm actually pretty damn excited. I got this awesome, awesome palette yesterday from Sigma and Shop Hush. I want a giveaway. It's called the Chroma Glow Highlighting and Shimmer Palette. Guys, take a effing look. Stop. Like, um, I'm going to try this right now. But just because it's so beautiful, I'm going to use my beautiful highlighting brush that I got in an Ipsy bag. Um, and it has little rhinestones on it. I don't know if you can see that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hop in with Ambrosia, which is the top center color. So let me hop in with Ambrosia. Ooh, such a beautiful natural glow. Like, it's not too much. Ooh, look at that. Okay, maybe, wow. 
literally mind blown. Do the tip of the nose. That's Cupid's bow. That's pretty. I'm a fan. Thank you guys so much. I'm obsessed already. I can't wait to try the other shades. Okay, guys, so we are getting down to the wire. Um, I was kind of stalling to do the lips because I know that's going to be pretty damn tough. Um, I also decided to use a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick so we know it's going to be, you know, very opaque and stay all day. So we got to get this right, guys. <laughs> what I'm going to do first is line my lips really quickly with the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Nude. And let's just see if I can get this done with my left hand. Screams like 90s, doesn't it? <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So what I'm doing is I got. So what I'm gonna do is um, <laughs> I went a little heavy-handed with the lip liner. I'm going to hop in with Jeffree Star Androgyny. This is like my favorite ever. I love this shade. And uh, we're just gonna do this. Oh my god! I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Definitely hanging off my chin, but I'm, I don't know, I'm not like mad about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with some setting spray. I like to do that before my mascara, just so there's no wetness on the actual mascara. Um, so let's go ahead and use the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Lavender. I shouldn't have even done that because I'm probably gonna wash my face in like five seconds, but it's part of the process. So um, the very last step is going to be mascara. So I'm hopping in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, which I love this a lot. Um, and then I always use Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I usually use two mascaras every day. Um, so I'm going to wait for my face to dry a little bit. And I really hope I can just complete this, you know, with a boom. I'm just really, I just thought about it. This is going to be beyond words awkward. This eye is going to be easy. So we're going to get this eye over with. And... The other side is probably going to be the most difficult step, <laughs> so um, I'm going to try a couple different methods. Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> Maybe I should try it like this. Okay, I'm going to poke my eye out, like, now. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, no. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, this is actually pretty tough. Oh, I was just about to use my right hand for the first time all day. This, this right here, is the most awkward part of the entire challenge. Kind of funny because when I look at my viewfinder, it doesn't even look that bad. But if you were to see it in person, like this is what's getting me. The lower lash line and the, just the liner in general is getting me. Um, I think the mascara is pretty clumpy as well. I didn't have a lot of control. I couldn't really like get through the hairs and lift. It was kind of like, you know, just plopping the shit on there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna throw down my hair and we're gonna take a look at the finished look. Okay guys, so this is my finished look. Um, I have to say, it's not horrible. It is not horrible. Um, the thing that doesn't look great to me is the eyes and the actual brows are a nightmare. Like, I can't wait to just swipe these off really quick and do them again. Um, so the brows and the eyes were definitely hard. Um, the lips were surprisingly easy, so I feel like they look decent. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even have anything negative, negative to say. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup challenge. Like I mentioned, I'll be doing it every weekend in the month of March. I think next weekend I'm going to to be mixing all of my foundations and trying them on for a wear test. Um, so I've been seeing that going around lately a lot and I've been interested in it. So I probably have about 15 of them I could try and I think that would make for a nice concoction. Um, but anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye!